Hello, Mario. Civil and structural drawing. DE5202, session 6, volume. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, let's have a look at volume, calculating volumes. A very important part of civil engineering is volumes and calculating volumes. So uh, let's... Uh, Let's go and have a look. And so we'll go over here to the civil and structural drawing. Here it is here to the dash, what we call a dashboard. And we'll go, there we'll go, civil and structural drawing. And we'll turn editing off just to make it a little bit more clean. And so uh, we're going to be looking at session six today. So here it is here. So before you come to class, um, I've asked that you review the notes down here on uh, volume there, volume, the notes, volume there, these notes here. So I've asked that you review those and that you watch the video, uh, Mario, on areas and volumes. That'll give you a good introduction to this topic, put you in the zone, give you some of the jargon and what have you. Uh, if you do have time, I would suggest that you review mm. the other um, bits and pieces of the um, of of this uh, session, and uh, just to familiarise yourself with what's where and when and where and how and that sort of thing, and uh, write down any questions that you have to ask in class. So um, this is the video that you're watching now can be gained here. A copy of the session plan. Here and the session notes here in the form of a PowerPoint. So if we click on there, that loads up the PowerPoint, and uh, that should be coming up on the screen right now. And we go to slideshow, and from the beginning, and then we just uh, we're away with the uh, title there. So let's uh, go to the next uh, to the next one. Um, oops, which is the session plan. And as you'll see there, um, that you've got my head in the way. So I'll just get that out of the way for a moment while we can look at the session plan. So the session is in two parts, a three hour part, which is uh, the intro that we're doing here now, and then a two hour, another two hour part later on in the week. So in the first part, you sign into the register uh, remembering, of course, that if your name is not on the register, not signed in, you could be marked absent. Then we'll do this um, brief introduction here, uh, and then you'll be working uh, this week on the basic 2D CAD project. Uh, this is the last week for completion of that, and the weekly tasks for this week, which are on volume. In the second part of the week, um, you again sign into the register. If your name's not on the register, uh, that will um, mean that you are, are not there. And uh, bring with you any questions that you've um, that have come up between the end of the first session and now, and we'll try and answer those in the in a class forum. And then it's continue on with the basic 2D CAD and weekly tasks. So we'll move on to the next slide, which of course is on successful completion of this session. You should have investigated volumes, so you should have a better, uh, a slightly better understanding of volumes, and then um, acquired some more CAD skills. Um, you're, you're accumulating CAD skills as you go, so you should be. Uh, as you move through the uh, videos of the uh, CAD project, um, you should be learning new skills and applying them different ways and combining the skills together so that you can uh, use a combination of skills to achieve uh, the results that you want. All, all the while updating your course diary. Your diary is best filled in contemporaneously at the time when things occur, not after the event, or a long time after the event. So within a day or so. So now would be a good time just to um, stop and get your diary up to date. 
and you should be starting to prepare for your infrastructure guru presentation to the whole class as these are going to be needed pretty soon in the civil engineering cul-de-sac uh, project which is, is coming up and then you should also have understood what to do before next week okay so now just the little a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a thing here on communication so I'll just get my uh, get my head out of the way there so that we can see that and uh, the message today is that communication is king communication is king it is key it's communication now communication in itself is quite simple there are usually two people involved or one person the sender and many receivers but uh, generally it's a one-to-one -one sort of situation or as each receiver interacts with the sender so for instance in a classroom situation you could have one sender the tutor and many receivers but essentially you can um, nail it down to this little diagram here so the sender sends out the message now the message should be received by the receiver who should then give some feedback to indicate to the sender that they have received the message now quite often the message gets sent but it is not received and there's no no feedback and this uh, causes all sorts of problems because the sender thinks that the message has been sent when in fact it hasn't so as a sender it's very important that you try to get feedback now feedback might be by way of eye contact so if you're in a classroom situation and everyone's head is turned away from you and you cannot see their eyes chances are the message is not getting through so this is why uh, tutors and teachers always ask or try to have your attention so that they can see the whites of your eyes because then they know that the message at least has a chance of getting through that you are actually attending to the sender they then um, require feedback so the feedback might be by way of when um, when tutors ask questions uh, quite often the questions are a, are, a, are a method of getting feedback from the students so that they can see that the message has got through the feedback can be by way of eye contact, show of hands, all of these sorts of things, but they are very important. So for the, it's important that you close out the whole process. So if, say, for instance, you are trying to convey a very important message to a person, uh, quite often you might send the message and then ask that person to tell you what the message was, and that completes the message feedback loop that gives you some surety that the message has been received and the process is finished so if say for instance you send out a message which say might be might be for instance a post on moodle you might send out the message um, and but you until you get feedback which might be say the message might be please send me an email um, until you get the email um, you know that you've got no idea whether the message has been sent or not or received or not and that the process is finished so feedback is very important and this is why student uh, teachers ask you for ask questions um, why obviously you have to hand information in so that tutors can assess of what message you've received what message you received is it the correct message and is the loop finished as satisfactorily so learning in a sense is all about communication communication is king and George Bernard Shaw the famous um, playwright and author and uh, general um, you know intelligent person um, of high regard uh, he made this uh, said this little quote here that the single single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place and this is very 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 true 
in a classroom situation, I can send out a message. I can make sure that everybody is attending and looking to the front, but I cannot, without any feedback loop, cannot guarantee whether the message has got through. So that's why it's very important that the feedback comes back so that I can say, well, yes, the message got through, and therefore the communication on, in itself is complete. So communication is king. But it's very important that you give lots of feedback. The more feedback you give, the better, because that improves the quality of the communication. Alrighty, so moving on. Is your diary up to date? So again, this is a um, message that I send out fairly regularly. Um, I have not had... Um, I've seen one or two of you filling out diaries after I've said the message, um, but I haven't received any diaries in, any you know partially completed diaries for comment or things like that. So I keep repeating the message um, and using a repetitive technique, which would uh, tend to indicate that, you know, hopefully the message uh, should get through um, because of the repeated number of times I've put it out there, um, the chances are that at least one of those times it would have got through, that the message was got through, that your diary needs to be up to date. Now moving on to the next uh, one is worksheets. And again, I've seen, I send this message out every session telling you that there are worksheets that you must keep up to date with the worksheets because if you get behind, the task becomes onerous. And also that the tasks in the worksheets are most important in that you will need to be able to do the skills required in the, in the projects that are coming up. So therefore, very important that you keep your worksheets up to date. And these are you know, they're, 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 alert, they're, uh, they're, alert, they're a communication in a sense. I'm saying to you, you need to know how to do this worksheet. That's the communication, that's the message that's being sent. You get the worksheet and then you complete it and send it back to me. That's the feedback. And that tells me that the communication loop has been closed out, that you've got the message, you have, done, you have uh, completed the feedback, and then I can have a look at it and say, well, yes, um, that's, um, that, that's, uh, that, that's, that's all good. So, um, yeah, are your worksheets up to date? Well, the best way to answer that question is to send in your worksheets. And some of you have sent in your worksheets, and I am haven't marked too many any of them yet I'm uh, but I will get to that soon uh, as I get uh, more time available once I've prepared all the lessons to send out okay now the infrastructure guru so time for presentations is coming up and as I'm um, just preparing this uh, little video I've just got an got an email from one from a student suggesting that um, we may well have a uh, presentation. Uh, this week which will be um, be very good for the first one up so um, I'm looking forward to that we'll we'll see what develops there I haven't uh, haven't completed the communication or looked at the feedback just yet so that's uh, that's looking promising we'll see what develops okay the basic 2d CAD so this is the last week for 2d CAD next week um, I have programmed for you to make a start on the cul-de-sac project or the civil engineering project which is a cul-de-sac again it's following through a series of videos but um, obviously at the next level up because you've got a number of skills so um, we'll be introducing new skills and um, some worksheets uh, and and that type of thing that will need to be part of it so this is a key project of the of the course and it's worth um, the key amount. So we'll be looking at that uh, next week and uh, getting into that, um, hopefully, with an intro and what have you. So look forward to that. So what's new on Moodle? So let's um, go.
go and have a look. Um, so we'll get out of here, just uh, escape from here, and um, I think we can drop that down and get rid of that. And here we are in the Moodle. So what's new in Moodle? Um, well, we've just got in here the video, and I've explained these, and these are the weekly tasks. Um, you'll notice that there's a number of videos down here which will uh, help you through the weekly tasks. So they relate, they relate to the weekly tasks in here. So um, yeah, you can watch the videos and try and get uh, some of these tasks uh, done here. Um, if you do have a have a problem, uh, you'll need to communicate with me, and we'll see what see if we can uh, get those um, get those all sorted out. But uh, that's essentially the there, and um, you've got the basic 2D CAD up here, which you you all know about. And from what I've seen, you're working away on that. And um, just by in way of the uh, 2D CAD, you need to um, perhaps um, you need to email to me a DWG file and a PDF file. And you need to print out a hard copy of your plan set on A2, and that needs to be handed in. Uh, the hard copy needs to be handed in, and uh, on on A2 paper. I have received some already, and um, we need to have have that done. So A2 paper hand in, and a DWG and a PDF uh, all need to be handed in to me for the basic 2D CAD file. Now let's have a look at session 7 and getting ready for session 7 um, you need to um, just before you come to class although some of you may well have covered this because you need to look at the technical specification um, which you've been doing as part of your infrastructure guru so um, that, that'll be quite handy and then we will have infrastructure gurus that will be um, conversant on some very uh, technical details of some of the various bits of infrastructure that may become part of the civil cul-de-sac process project here which I'll outline next week and then obviously I've still got a little bit of work to do to get the session plan and the video and the um, and the notes are ready for session 7 so that you can move forward uh, with that but they will be will be there in due course. The cul-de-sac videos are here, um, over here, and they tell you uh, what to do um, with various uh, bits and pieces of resource and things there. So um, yeah, you need to uh, get on get on with those. Um, I think we've got some um, in the assessment here. Um, I'm still working on the cul-de-sac project, but the 2016 is um, pretty much um, how it, how it, well, this is the 2016 uh, one that we'll be using for the project here, um, and it'll um, give you uh, some of the details, um, the template, various files and things which will be uh, referred to in the, in the, um, cul-de-sac videos and which I will introduce to you by way of a video introduction as well so uh, I think um, I think we're pretty pretty much uh, done by way of the introduction there and so um, yeah we can uh, move forward with another week there so uh, yeah if you, if you have any trouble, uh, send me an email or get in contact with me. Um, I may be, um, you may need to use email. I can um, make up a video or send you some notes or put you in the right direction, um, whatever. But remember, communication is king. Feedback is very important. So that's how we close out the communication process. And um, we all learn along the way. Cheers! See you!